Iga, big bad Iga being dominated by Svitolina here in the third set. The double break, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Svitolina would get the double break and everything was going well for Svitolina in the third set. Well, maybe not everything. There's only one thing that didn't go her way in the third set. That's a Jordan fist pump, but this is not. She would have missed the drop shot. Well, <laughs> love 15. She gets set through this match. <laughs> she tried, but listen, when you're just dominating an opponent, you start to maybe try things you probably should not. Now, in this third set, Iga just looked horrible. Let's just be honest. I said she looked horrible last match. I think her footwork on grass is, is not great, to be honest with you. And we do have to stop giving her so many breaks on grass. I mean, every professional athlete on tour has to play on grass. I mean, Iga Fiontech is one of the few that actually has a grass championship. Yes, it came as a junior slam, but she still has one. And let's just be honest. We give Iga so many breaks on grass as if she's not a professional. She's a professional. She has on Jabor. Did you guys see at, at the wedding she reached the family wedding she recently went to? She had her team make a grass court at the wedding so she could practice. Iga Fiontech has the best resources in the world. We have to stop making these excuses of how she's not a good grass player. She has the resources to train and become a good grass player. She has a winning percentage on grass. She won the junior slam grass. So the reality here is we got to stop the excuses. They, it's, it's about time they stop. Right now, she's just being dominated by Svitolina. Svitolina is winning 83% of her first serves. She's winning 62% of Iga Svantec's second serves. She's dominating her on the return side. Iga cannot establish any pace in this match. You're talking about the master of spin. Why do I always say Svitolina the defensive powerhouse? I've been saying that for years because I've, I've only seen one person in the history of watching her play where she hasn't been able to establish pace. And that's Serena Williams. Everyone else, Fitalina is in these matches because she's that smart, she's tactical. And if I wasn't mad at her for those ridiculous comments that she, that she made her last interview, I would have gave you the pick on Fitalina. I was just so disgusted at her. I'm like, just send her home for talking like that. How are you going to pick a tennis match to be the most important, the second most important memory of your life? That just disgusted me. But nonetheless, 12 winners to six. Iga's fiance is just, she's having a bad day at work. She wants out. 